wins the ring. I'll put all my money on Johnny Smith. Well, I don't know how much money you got here with you tonight, but I think it's going to be an exciting deal. This is the first time we've seen these players in here, and I'm looking forward to a good match. And Smith certainly has got the talent, as you mentioned, and I'm going to imagine along the way you're going to tell me you instructed him. Well, you know, Johnny holds a lot of respect of Bulldog Bob Brown. I hold a lot of respect for him. He knows what he's doing in that ring, Frank. And boy, I tell you, he's a tenacious one. He don't stop at nothing. He wins at any cost. And this is what I call a real, real true athlete. Well, he's certainly in good shape. Now, if he's in that good a shape, why does he need the weasel? Well, you know, he needs the weasel. He's so busy throughout his lifetime, and he needs the weasel to do all his great bookings so he can have time to himself and his beautiful girlfriends from England and all over Alberta and British Columbia. He's got the girls chasing him all over the country, Frank, also. Well, doesn't that make you green with envy? But look at the match we've got up here. The earlier match tonight, of course, was exciting and just nice to see those young people in there. But look at the turnaround right here into that turnbuckle. Now, you've had your head hammered in there. It must get your attention. Well, well I'll tell you what. When Johnny Smith... When Johnny Smith takes care of somebody, he takes care of business. I tell you, I wouldn't want to meet Johnny Smith in the back lane. I wouldn't want Johnny Smith to be mad at me because I tell you, getting on this bad track of Johnny Smith, you're in for a big, big trouble. Well, he's certainly got the build to do anything he wants to, and I wouldn't want to be in the ring with either one of them, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm really looking forward to the matchup here tonight, and the audience are responding very well to Johnny Smith being back in the territory. Well, I think it's just great to have him back, along with the Weasel, both great friends of mine. I spent a lot of time with them. We have dinner on occasion. Hey, listen, we go out and we talk about pro wrestling at its very, very best. That's all we talk about, how we get things done better. And listen... Johnny Smith is no fool. He knows what he's doing every minute in the ring. And this is why he's been on top of his game. And it's called professional wrestling. And he's here, CNWA, and where they're promoting wrestling at its very, very best. And listen, the talent that's coming into the CNWA, and listen, somebody's got to be doing right. You got a full house here tonight. You got the Canadian Giant next week, seven foot four. And you got the midgets here. Now, look at the weasel now. Well, I knew that would get your attention because that's the kind of shenanigans you normally restore to. But at the nevertheless, it certainly puts some heat on our friend in there right now. Mr. Taylor has got to get going here very quick or Johnny Smith is going to be all over him. I agree with you about his talent. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing about Randy Taylor. If he don't come out of this soon enough and show what he's capable of showing i'll guarantee you that johnny smith will take him to the showers in real quick order well it's not hard to see that smith hasn't forgot anything while he's away he's up there showboating a little bit and of course listen to the audience they're really getting into this match you'd think you were up in there well you know why they're getting with it hey listen bulldog bob brown's doing the play-by-play -play, along with my great color man frank sister you don't have to listen to ed whalen announcing something else but wrestling joe Ella, he doesn't know his abcs hey listen you're hearing the broadcast from two well-groomed individuals at its very very best we're telling you what's happening in the ring not what's happening last week or the week before we're keeping and everybody up to date frank well what do you think he's going to get into this boston crab that could be the end of this match that you've been in and out of that and you've probably used it yourself sir well the boston crab is one of the most vicious holes i tell you when you get that put on you you look at his back frank you see his back has caved in his legs way up above you can only take so much before the guy will give up and i think he might give up well, and of course, Smith is reaching. Now, look at this. He's onto the ropes. Now, you can say anything you want, but the fact is he's on the ropes. Now, he had to let go, fortunately, or else Taylor would have had a problem. Well, no, the referee caught him and broke it. Hey, Johnny Smith knows that he can hang on to the ropes. If he gets caught, he's got to break it and maybe get one of those silly yellow cards. Are you telling me you don't agree with a yellow card? Well, I think the yellow cards, the red cards, the purple cards, the pink cards, uh, cards, I think it's all foolishness. I don't think it's got nothing to do with professional wrestling, and it should be taken out. 
Well, I know this, that Taylor just saw a whirl around there and he just swung him back into the corner buckle and certainly they ended up, I think the yellow cards may not be counting, but your bond certainly pleases me because you can't get too lippy tonight. Well, you know, here, here comes the weasel now. He's given uh, Johnny Smith all the help he can get. And this goes good with this match. There's my man right there. See, he comes right over and he talks to us. Can you imagine he comes over and interrupts the interviews and everything else we're doing here? I think the guy was great. The guy came over and saw a great piece of talent. I've known him for years. You know, there's one thing about the weasel. He's not cheap. He spends a lot of money, not like you and Ed Whalen and Joe. He spends money, takes me out for dinner, takes me out for a few drinks, got beautiful girls. Hey, I'm proud of him, and I like what he does. Well, I can assure everybody that's listening, you not only put on a good match last week, but you also taught me a lesson. You taught me how to have long pockets and short arms. You certainly don't know how to pick up a bill. Okay, let's get back to the match. Johnny Smith now. Big foot to the stomach. Boy, I tell you. And I tell you, I, may, I don't think that's fair what he's doing. I, I tell you the truth. Johnny is really beating up this guy. It's been no contest up to now. Johnny Smith has been all over him. And I'll tell you, it's only a matter of time till Johnny Smith will say, well, Bulldog, this is it. I'm going to put him away. And he's doing a great job of it. Are you telling me that for once you actually think there was an illegal move in there? You have resorted to more than enough in your lifetime that you should recognize every one of them. Well, you know, we don't want to hear about the past, Frank. Let's talk about what's happening in the ring. You know, you're not in a bad announcement, and you know what? You're not a bad guy either. But you've been around with Ed Whalen and Joe Elliott for so long, you're beginning to act like them. You know, hey, you got to get with it. Now we got our old timekeeper back, and he's doing a tremendous job sometimes. But let me say, I've known him for 30 years that I know of, and he's never, 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 he's always been on Ed Whalen's side. Yes, and one other thing he is, is he's been in it since 1940, in 47, I believe it was, when he started. And there he is, as good looking as ever, and he aged well. What happened to you? Well, I'm looking as great as I ever did. You know, you told me last week, hey, listen, Bulldog, even Joe said on television, I've known a man for 20 years. His uh, body has never changed. He's got the tremendous build and can wrestle all night. And I, I forgot, I want to thank Joe and Ed Whelan for those fine comments. Well, I think they might have been looking at the wrong body. It might have been Richie they were talking about. But look at the hole that Smith has on here. And, of course, Taylor's up there putting all the pressure back on him. And I'll tell you, this has been an exciting match all the way through. And it's nice to have you here because you've had the expertise and you've been in the ring and fought all the wars. And you should know what's happening out there right now. Well, I'll tell you what he's doing right now, Frank. He's working on his head. He knows that he can put this guy away. But he wants, look at that beautiful leapfrog and clothesline. My goodness gracious, you know. And then he's going to go back to that same hole. He's just playing with him, and he's softening him up. And all I can tell you is, this has been a one-sided match of five ever side. And I'm sure Taylor should know something better than that. Well, Taylor has certainly come out. He's come in from the United States to compete in this match, and he run into a hot tiger with this one tonight. Well, I tell you, I just like what I see. Johnny Smith hasn't lost a bit. I'll tell you something about Johnny Smith. Johnny Smith gets up at 8, 30, 9 o'clock, runs for three or four miles, goes to the gym with Dynamite Kid, works out for three or four hours, comes home, has a little nap, gets back up, and he's back in the gym at 4 o'clock. He wrestles that night, he leaves around 6 o'clock, and he comes here, and this is what Johnny Smith does compared to a lot of guys that I know of that's never saw the inside of a gym. Well, he's probably certainly found out when I say in Taylor uh, there is laying on the floor, and that is a hard floor, a solid cement, solid time, and we've got locks of action. The referee's giving him a blast right now, and Johnny Smith saying, no, 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 and the weasel's up to his normal tricks. Johnny Smith standing right there saying, no, 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 I'm innocent. I think he learned that trick from you. This match is not really hard to handle by a referee, because you know, uh, look at this beautiful suplex, standing straight up, five feet in the air, and down he goes. My, 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 I don't know how much more this guy can take, Frank. 
Well, he's certainly taken a lot, and I can tell you one thing. The ceiling in our building here is 14 foot high, and Johnny Smith lifts Taylor right up off the floor over his head, and here we are, and all of a sudden, we're sitting there with a lot of weight going down. Now, watch this move here. What is he doing right here? Explain this to the audience so they'll understand it. Well, Frank, this is a domino stretch. It's one of the most painful holds in professional wrestling. Johnny Smith has got it on him, and he's got it... He's got it on the right way. There's the right way of doing it, and, and and there's a wrong way of doing it. Right now, he's waiting for the guy to submit, and then he'll drop the hole, Frank. Now, I notice that he's got his hands on his trunks. They're giving him a little added pressure and keeping the things going. And, of course, we've got the referee standing there. Now, it's pretty neat tricks when you can blindside and get away. You know all about that. Well, Frank, I certainly didn't see any trunks. All I saw was a abdominal stretch. And I'll tell you the truth, abdominal stretch, the suplexes, the slams. Listen, he's given Taylor everything possible. I don't know why he just don't put the guy away. Well, I think it may be a little bit of a vendetta. Possibly they've wrestled before, but he's put them out on every side of the ring here tonight except one, and that's right in front of us. Now, look at He's even looking right at you and talking to everybody here, just saying how good he is. And he has a yellow card. Now, that should really thrill you. Well, I'm, I'm certainly Johnny Smith feels the same way as I do. Yellow cards are yellow cards. He knows he's got two of them, and he knows the red one's a disqualification, immediately suspension. He knows what to do and what not to do. Johnny Smith is a great, great man in the ring. Great mind. He knows everything he's going to do. Here, we got an upset right in the making. Ooh, one, almost got him. Almost did. That was a smooth move. He came right off of the ropes there, did a flying jump at him and had him right on the ground. I even uh, shocked him just a little bit because his eyes opened up just a little, almost as much as yours did when Richie was there with you last week. I thought that was exciting. I'm sorry I missed it. I wasn't here last week. Well, Johnny Smith got hit with a, uh, a cross body block. Then the man got up, got an arm, twisted him, and Johnny came right out of it and hit him in the head with a, a forearm. And now he's back to work on him again. Well, it's nice to see that the Taylor is out there, and while he's getting a hammering here and certainly going from filler to post in this thing, I think that he's put on a pretty good show. Well, there's no, my, there's no doubt in my mind. Here we go. I think this is it. Listen, jo Johnny Smith has did everything in his power to win this match. He took it from the opening bell until the bell rang, and all I can tell you is, all, all I can tell you is, it was a great thing.